something really cool to show you guys. So I just finished 3D printing, probably the most important part of my entire life, but I haven't even seen it yet. Inside of that powder is a 3D printed human skull implant that's gonna be surgically installed into someone's head and completely change their life. But they weren't always made this way. They used to be made out of a gourd. So 9,000 years ago, if you would have injured your skull, it would have been repaired with a hard outer shell of a gourd just like this. Crazy, right? All right, now let's check out how skull implants are made today. So first, doctors take 2D CT scan images and they build a model of your skull in the fractured area. After that, they load that model into a CAD software and they design a personalized 3D skull implant for your injury. Now, the beautiful thing about additive is you can also integrate lattice structures into that implant. So you've got this custom 3D shape and the whole surface of that is gonna be lattice structures. Whereas with CNC machining, you'd have to settle for a series of holes drilled throughout your implant. The reason the lattice structures are better is because they're intertwined with each other and doctors have found that that actually helps create bone ingrowth after your surgery. Now this mesh pattern doesn't add any additional manufacturing costs. It's a little more difficult on the design side, but with metal 3D printing, we can easily accomplish this on the manufacturing side. Our support structures also have a bit of a mesh pattern to them, and that's gonna be great because we can break these away using simple hand tools after the print's done. Now while the design of this implant is very crucial, the material type that we choose to make it is also important. So what kind of material is safe enough to be implanted into your body? Over the last 9,000 years, they tried a ton of stuff that just didn't work. We already know that they started out with gourds, but by 2000 BC, they were using gold plates. But not because they worked. It was actually more of a status symbol for the rich. So if you're a rich king, you got a gold plate. If you're just a regular person, you'd still get a gourd. And by 1668, the first bone graft was tried, and I was shocked to find out that it was part of a dog's skull that they used. We all know that's not a long-term solution to the problem. By the late 1800s, they tried aluminum, but they found that that irritates the tissue around the brain and it causes seizures and it's prone to infection. By the early 1900s, they were actually using silver, but they found that silver was too soft and it discolored the scalp. From there, injuries caused from World War II provided another need for improvement, so we switched to tantalum. Now, tantalum worked pretty good. It was non-corrosive and non-inflammatory, but it was hard to find and it caused temperature-dependent headaches because it conducts heat very well. And over the course of all those years, nobody ever had a viable solution to this problem. And somebody finally thought to try titanium, which is what we have inside of our overflow bin. Now, titanium is the most biocompatible metal on Earth. You can print with it. It checks all the boxes. Now after I'm done sieving this powder from this overflow bin back down into our supply cylinder, we'll be ready to print our skull implant and hopefully change somebody's life. We just 3D printed a high-end skull implant that's going to be surgically installed into someone's head and completely change the course of their life. In 2015, a girl named Jessica was riding her motorcycle in Brazil and she had an accident that left a four and a half inch hole in the side of her skull. They couldn't afford the surgery and they had no other options. She thought she was going to have to spend the rest of her life like that. The implant Jessica received was the first FDA approved titanium 3D implant ever and she was recovering from surgery within a week. That's incredible. She's gonna go on to live a much better life than she would have thanks to this technology.
As I sit here and remove these supports from our skull implant, I'm just thinking about how over the last 9,000 years, we've gone from using the hard outer shell of a gourd to 3D printed titanium implants. And this is just the tip of the iceberg. I mean, they're using this stuff for knee joints, hip joints, even hearing aids are being 3D printed today. It's just absolutely mind blowing to me how far we've come. It's been 9,000 years, but human ingenuity and technological advancement is absolutely undefeated. And this part just goes to show, I mean, if you're in machining and manufacturing, the work that you're doing every single day is impacting someone's life, whether you see it or not. It's an absolute honor for me to be able to make a part like this that has so much meaning and history behind it. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you like what we're doing, please like and subscribe. Also, if you want to see more videos just like this, check out our additive playlist, and we'll catch you guys next time. <laughs> okay, say you have a skull injury. Do you want this to fix it or this?